Great success. <laughs> we make same joke every time. But then they're capping all this shit off with their contacting their attorney. They're dead rag and dirty in this one. My God, I could sell anything. I could sell the shirt off my back. You guys, we have a great Pawn Hub in store, but before we get into the episode, I sincerely want to thank the episode sponsor, or I should say unofficial sponsor, the Disabled American Veterans Group. There is a link in the video description below. They're a wonderful cause supporting American veterans. Please go help them out. Veterans do not get enough support. They are the heroes of this country, and uh, there's just a lot wrong with taking care of them when their service is done. So please check out this organization. Again, link is in the video description below. If you are a service person from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And with that, let's get into it. Okay, what do we got today? Oh my goodness. What don't we have today? Oh, you got more South African sets. Hell just, yeah. Just one. Were you able to move any of these uh, Canadian sets? I am still sitting on them. Okay. All the ones I bought from you. How much do you want? They're cheaper now. So silver's gone down, so. What's cheaper? I guess I could let these go at like 26 a set. No, I'll, I'll let you keep them. All right. British proof sets again. 86 right. through 91. Oh, there, there we go. Actually, I fucked up uh, somebody. I sent the wrong one too. They need a 90, so that's perfect. I got it. Uh, what do you want on these? Um, Nine bucks. Nine bucks. On Nine those. bucks. All right, fine. This is one missing one. It just knocked loose. Oh, I see. Hey, what happens? No, whatever. All right, Canadian silver set. I don't know if I ran one of these by you once or not. Uh, I've seen them in the past. Yeah. 10 ounces of silver. It's yeah. Sterling, but have a net ounce of silver, so. What do you want in the set? Um, probably like 245, 24 and a half an ounce. Yeah, I've seen these sets in the past. This is all the paperwork. And you want 245? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, I'll do that. Sweet. Oh, look at that, what's that? Another Ike set. Ike set, how much? Buck 80. Okay, I'll do 180 on the set. And I've got some fancy. Fancy silver here. Air Force. See, Coast Armed Guard. Forces. Oh, I've never seen this set before. Yeah. From the US Mint. Uh, Big hunk of silver. Two and a half ounces. How much on each set? They go on eBay in the 200 to 250 range. 175. I'll let you keep them. A little bit better. A little Russian set. Okay. A great success. <laughs> we make same joke every time. We shot the writer. Need 18 bucks a piece in those. Okay, that's fine. The Paul is, uh, oh dang, man, I just looked. Is it cracked? And, no, the, just the penny or whatever. This brass coin's completely corroded. That's fucked up. Ugh. Oh, that's too bad. No. How much? I don't know, four bucks if you want to fuck with it. I saw them, you know, decent sets are going for like 30. But yeah, but. Yeah, three great. bucks. Okay, fine for three. Can't go wrong. This would be 1972 Nepal coins. This would be yeah, like a $30, $40 set, but look at that corroded. Ugh, what a bummer. Bunch of like silver crowns. German, Austria, Portugal. Oh, cool. Okay. There's uh, like a Berlin wall, silver metal. All right. I've never seen a Berlin. Tell me Reagan's in here somewhere. So we got the boomers boomer. Oh, no, no, JFK. George Bush? What the fuck they got George Bush on it for? He didn't do shit with the Berlin Wall. They did Reagan dirty in this one. Reagan smash! Probably like 20 bucks a piece, straight across. Okay. Twins World Championships collector set. Seen those around? I actually have. The old man had one of these. Yeah. Uh, they're one ounce each. Right. 75. I have to get decent premium on that. Probably like 90 bucks. All right, I'll do that. Hopes and dreams. I'll see hopes yeah. and dreams. <laughs> oh, oh, I can't do, uh, you know, my nails did, and I could do, a, I, I could do the perfect Hitler. I go right here and start making the jokes at Gippy Cats, but I can't do that because I had the colors filed off. And next, we get the uh, Russian ballerinas, not the Palladium. Gold ones? Silver. Oh, wow. I've seen gold ones. Yeah. Oh, cool. It's only one of these cool, cool, I've ever cool. Seen. I actually. Might keep this for myself. These are silver, right? Yeah. How much do you want on this set? Five ounces, two one ounces, two fifty. And it's how many ounces? Seven ounces. So it's like thirty-five an ounce or something. Fine. Yeah, man. Yeah, you did it. All right, let's add her up. Is that it? Tis tis. Awesome. Twenty-three fifty-four. Check okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. Here Thanks, boss. Thank you. 
kind of go over all this. This Russian set, this is really cool. I bet this is a four or $500 set. Some of these coins he sells me, these single items can end up being like $100 each. Some of these sets are like $100 each. So, I mean, there's some good stuff here. It's great for my whatnot auctions. That's where most of the stuff is going. I'm gonna sell some of it on my Instagram story, but like definitely the cheaper stuff isn't gonna be on whatnot. I might put that Ike set on my Instagram story. I'm definitely gonna put the Canadian sets on and this ballerina set, but. Yeah, this is like whatnot fodder for like a week, which is great. I'd I would seriously would love to see him like once a week and do this once a week and make our life so much easier. 23.54 in, low end, there's a, I'm gonna make a thousand dollars on this deal, low end. Okay, this might be the height of my arrogance, but it is, it is like actually very funny. So I'm in the shower and I think to myself, it's after an auction, I think, my God, I could sell anything. I could sell the shirt off my back. So I just bought a couple new Xeon shirts. I bought three new ones and I bought them because like there's nothing wrong with the other ones. It's just, they're, I could tell they're a year old and I'm on camera all the time. So I want to have like nicer, newer looking clothes. So I thought, oh, fuck it. I'm gonna sell the shirt off my back. So I ripped it off during an auction and I, I got more money than I paid on the original, the original shirt. <laughs> it's very funny. So now I have to sign it. That was uh, part of the deal. Xeon, Evan Kale, AKA Pawn Man. I'll tell you the 16th. Oh well, he'll never know. There's the thing that seems to happen with me where I'll talk about something and then the exact fucking opposite of what I talked about happens and it continues to happen and it just makes me second guess. It, it, it makes me think the whole universe is against me. You're just trolling me. What I'm specifically talking about here is I was saying in my eBay versus whatnot episode of Pawn Man, well, you know, whatnot doesn't have any Karens. Like, it's great. Like, you just don't have to deal with the bullshit you have to on eBay. And then after I, like, after that episode aired, I have dealt with so much crazy Karenism on whatnot. And it's at least it's not like eBay where the feedback score who gives a shit, you know, 4.9 is fine versus if you have any negative feedback, if you're not an if you're not 100%, 99.9 is a bad score on eBay. It's that draconian. So at least there's that, but I have dealt with some really crazy people uh, winning my auctions on whatnot from pretending they work for whatnot and trying to shake me down to in this instance, like I've had a few people where I've left items out on accident because you know, I'm just, I do all this shit myself. I pack it all myself, I make some mistakes. So one guy who was unrealistic about what, what I could do as a solution, he wanted, he bought a $50, he spent $50 and he wanted 600 because that's what he thought the coin was worth. I think I already talked about that one. This, get a load of this. Okay, so like this guy's missing something, right? And he says like, I was short on an order. I have not heard back from seller. And there's like lots of sp weird spelling errors, which just screams boomer on too many pills. Cause it's like, like when I see like weird spelling errors, like, like weird shit like this, like you have a space here and you have three commas instead of three dots. But then they're capping all this shit off with their contacting their attorney. If they don't hear from me, really, it's like, it's like a $15 item. You know how much your attorney would charge you to, to fix this for you? So I'm just saying like, okay, if you're like, if you're breaking out the A word attorney, like next, you're difficult. I'm not gonna, like, I, if I made a mistake, I'm gonna just let what not figure this out. Cause I'm not gonna get tangled up with you and your crazy attorney. You seem like a whack job. So I've just, I've had some whack jobs coming out of the woodwork on whatnot. Not very many, thank God, but it's been, well, at least on whatnot, I can just go like this. That's what I like versus eBay. It's, and you get negative feedback and it's like, Right now on eBay, I'm literally being shadow banned because that's what happens when you get negative feedback is suddenly your sales go. So some crazy fucking Karen took a dump on my account and is literally costing me now thousands of dollars. Awesome eBay. This is why whatnot is better. There's a lot of reasons why. But. I got uh, some of the family silver that's gotta go. All right, let's take a look. All right, I'm gonna just drop a little bit of ass down here. Looks like it's fine. I just, I don't really like this color. It looks, uh, the color's a little suspect. Uh-huh. I think it'll be okay though. Looks old. Yeah, that's fine. Fortunately, silver is getting hammered right now. Oh, Down about 20% last month. Part of my life. Oh, these are cool. Are these just like little base holders? Yeah. No, no, no. That's the pepper. This is salt. Was, would be you pour the salt? Nope. Just just, just like open, that. Open on the table and you take a pinch. Huh. From uh, bygone era. You got 60.15 ounces. Like I said, silver's way down. Uh, I'd be a buyer at 820 bucks. Okay. Works. Have uh, a Morgan. Be 850 with this piece. Okay. Yeah. We got 60 ounces. Now this is a really fucking good pattern. Yeah, like unbelievably good pattern here. Uh, will it sell? I doubt it. I've actually had this exact pattern and I ended up not selling it. If I melt this right now, I'll get 1080. So I'll make 100 bucks on what I did. This pattern is good enough where I can. I could probably do pretty well on this pattern. Yeah, and that was also, it was a mistake to factor every two of these as an ounce. This is the only silver here. There's a little tiny little thing here. Um, 
I'm going to try and get, I'm going to see if I can get 1200 bucks on this pattern. These are good. These, they're a little shoddy. I think I get 50, 75 bucks on each of these. So I'll do okay on this deal. Um, silver's down. I'm going to do great. I'll do okay. But what can you do? Tony Soprano, what can you do?